Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I am so glad that you are joining me this morning. Before we talk about today's worship service, let's sing a quick song to welcome everyone that has joined us. Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? God loves you today. Thank you for singing with me. Today is the 15th Sunday after Pentecost during what we call ordinary time. After our opening prayer and chance to say peace to everyone, we will hear three readings. The first reading is from the book of Psalms. In this reading, we will hear the author say, as high as the heaven is above the earth, that's how large God's faithful love is. Pretty large, lots of love. The second reading is from the book of Romans, which is the letter. Paul wrote in this letter, who are you to pass judgment? And this letter, remember, was written when the church was very new. And so a lot of people were figuring out what they wanted to be and who they wanted to accept. But I like that question for us too. Who are we to pass judgment? Our third reading is from the gospel according to Matthew. Here, Peter asks, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Should I forgive them as many as seven times? Jesus said, not just seven times, but rather as many as 77 times. And you know what? I don't think Jesus meant 77 and then you're done, no more. Because if you're like me, my brother and I used to disagree a lot. And so we probably had more than 77 disagreements. I don't think Jesus meant stop at 77, but a lot more than seven. Remember, we both want to be forgiving and understanding, but we also want to fix things that are wrong. So if somebody is hurting someone else, or if we as a church or community are not treating somebody well, we do want to try and change that and fix that. And when we do our very best, we do what we can to fix something, we can be forgiving with ourselves because we do make mistakes. If you want to try a special breathing exercise today, you can pretend you have a candle. So you can use your finger if you want. I will use this candle that's not lit right now as our example. And it's just a way to center yourself. For me, it helps me calm down when I'm feeling worked up. Ready? So what you do is you take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. You want the candle to flicker, but not go out. And again, take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Flickering candle. Finally, take one more deep breath in, and this time, blow out the candle. <laughs> now remember, only do this with an imaginary candle. It's not fun with a real candle, and it can be a little dangerous. But I really like that as a way to just think about my breathing and to recenter. For today's story, we will read a few pages from the book I Believe I Can, by Grace Byers and illustrated by Keturah A. Bobo. We can't read the whole book on YouTube, so check it out from the library if you want to hear the rest. You ready? I Believe I Can. I am like the lion's roar. I am like the dragon's flames. I'm worthy because I'm me. 
and there is value to my name. I can build just like a brick. I keep going like a clock. I can hold just like cement. I can last just like a rock. Grounded firm, I'm like the soil. Like the sky, I'm boundless too. When I believe in myself, there's simply nothing I can't do. Like the hero, I am brave and face my fears despite my fright. Because I know I'm not alone, and in the end, I'll be all right. Sometimes I am right, and sometimes I am wrong. But even when I make mistakes, I learn from them to make me strong. I may not win at all I do. I may experience defeat. I would still eat that cake. But I'll dust off and try again to be the best that I can be. I know my power lies within. There's nothing that can hold me down. There is light within my smile. There is voice within my sound. My presence matters in the world. My life is worthy. There's a plan. I know I can do anything. If only I believe I can. The end. Remember, you can read the whole book if you check it out from the library. I believe you can. I believe you were filled with love. I believe that if we are scared or anxious, we can know God is with us. We can take some deep breaths or we can listen to family, friends, or teachers. We can ask for help, which is hard sometimes, but really important. I believe that you can listen to your body and to your heart to see what you need and that you can find the bravery to forgive and to ask for forgiveness. To close today, will you help me sing one of our new songs for Compassion Camp? In Compassion Camp, we will talk about how compassion makes us brave to care for others, to care for ourselves, and to care for our world. This song is called Brave Enough by Amanda Meisenheimer. I will read the words once, and then we will sing it twice. If you want, you can practice clapping. I'm gonna snap, I think, during the song. Or you can make up your own dance moves to go with it. After the video, feel free to rewatch the song at the end and learn some of the words. The words are, we are brave enough to love. We are brave enough to show compassion. We are brave enough to listen and tell the truth. We can be brave. We can be brave because we're filled with love from the bottom of God's heart. We can be brave. We can be brave. Now I'll sing it twice. It's okay if you're not, if you don't know all the words yet, go ahead and dance, clap, snap, do whatever brings joy to you. Are you ready? We are brave enough to love. We are brave enough to show compassion. We are brave enough to listen and tell the truth. We can be brave. We can be brave. Because we're filled with love from the bottom of God's heart, we can be brave. We can be brave. Again, we are brave enough to love. We are brave enough to show compassion. We are brave enough to listen and tell the truth. We can be brave. 
We can be brave because we're filled with love from the bottom of God's heart. We can be brave. We can be brave. You can be brave. And I hope you really enjoy the service today. Goodbye.